welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am a knitter and independent yarn dyer based in the southwest of England. You can find me here on YouTube, Instagram and Ravelry as Sarah Knitty Bee and my yarn is sold as Knitty Bee Yarn in my Etsy store so check those out. This is my little slice of YouTube where I share everything that I have been knitting and dying on over the past month. Um, apologies, this video is going out a little late. Um, I wasn't feeling too hot yesterday. Um, now I'm feeling too hot because it's such glorious weather, uh, which is why I'm not wearing any hand knits today. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't feel like I've got a lot of knitting to share this month because I've only knit two items and kind of done a bit of a third. Uh, but yeah, let's let's take a look. Um, knitting. So if you saw my last podcast, which was also my first podcast, um, you will have seen that I was wearing a Summer Down tee by Jackie from the Woolly Badger. And I'd knitted it too short and it was a little bit, it was, it was supposed to be an oversized top and I didn't read the pattern properly and didn't go by the finished bust size so I'd knitted it too small. Um, so I have decided and I did go ahead and knit myself a second one. This one is knit out of my April Showers colourway which is a uh, merino, nylon and gold Stellina blend. Um, I don't know if it's going to pick up any of the sparkle? No, camera's not picking that up. Um, so the Summer Down is a strange construction because you start with the lace panel that runs down the arm first and then you pick up the stitches either side, um, cast on for the back and the front and join up down the other side and then just knit down. Um, this uh, is held double with a Lana Grossa Super Kid Silk Mohair. Her pattern does say you can either do a straight up DK or finger and held double with mohair. And I seem to be on a bit of a mohair kick at the moment. So I went ahead and knit myself another one. Um, I knit it a size larger. It now fits brilliantly. I have blocked it. It's still... Um, Feels like it needs another hour or so drying today. Um, but yes, so this was the first thing I have knit this month. Love it. Um, weather is going to be far too hot to be wearing this apparently over the next week or two. Um, but uh, it's got nice um, half length sleeves. So um, when it gets a bit cooler in the evenings, um, it'd be perfect to throw on. So that is the first thing that I have knit this month oh and all patterns discussed today and any links i think you need will all be listed in the description box below so if you do miss on a name of a pattern that i've mentioned then that you can find it down there um this is just a bit of the leftover can you catch the sparkle in that a little bit so yeah so there's a little bit of uh gold stellina in this one so i'm not normally one for sparkle but I kind of like this one. Um, so yeah, so there is that. The second thing I knit this past month, um, if you caught my dyeing video that I think went up about a week or so ago, maybe 10 days ago, you may recognise this colour. Um, but I took inspiration from that jumper and have knit a uh, second pattern by Jackie from the Woolly Badger. And this is her day off badge tee. And oh, yeah, I've forgotten to sew in some ends. Um, so this one is knit in the colourway Duchess. This is a um, merino tussa silk fingering weight blend that I just had some lying around. So whilst the colour is available in the shop, this particular wool blend isn't. Um, this is a bottom up construction boxy fit nice and oversized i did actually knit the right size this time um yeah so it's bottom up construction you can wear it with the lace panel down the front or down the back depending on 
whether or not you've got a vest top underneath, uh, if you're throwing it on when it's cooler in the evenings, or if you've got the body confidence to do so, wear it down the front with nothing on underneath. Or if you're wearing it just as a just as is on by itself and you're like me and don't have the body confidence to be wearing with the lace panel down the front so everybody can see my big belly, flip it round. Lace panel down the back, stocking it down the front. It does mean though I can't stitch my little handmade labels into this one um, because I normally put them on the bottom left hem, just one of those ones that folds over with my little logo and whatnot on. But if I do it on the left with the lace panel down the front and then I wear it the other way round, it's going to be on the wrong side. And I don't want people thinking, oh, she's got her top on inside out or back to front. Um, and I can't put one, you know, on the outside of that patch there if that was the back. Because if I'm wearing it at the front, it'll look weird. Just sat right in the middle of me. Um, so I do think this one possibly is going to have to be without one of my nice little labels. Um, this one, as I said, bottom-up construction. Uh, Jackie, sorry, blow hair up my nose. Ooh. Jackie writes her patterns with the lace both in chart instructions and as written instructions. So she has got you covered whichever way you like to knit um, lace work. She also does workshops. So. If you've never knit lace before and want to give it a go, but find it very, sorry, mohair, um, find it very daunting or you're not sure, she actually does both in person and online, um, yeah, courses. Uh, so you can find her as the Woolly Badger on Instagram and Facebook, I believe, and on Ravelry as well. If you don't use Ravelry, then, um, you can definitely find her in other places so if you did ever want to have a go and learn how to do lace um go check her out but yeah this is a nice comfortable t-shirt um so i can't wait to wear this one um this i'd probably wear tomorrow once i have sewn in those two little pesky ends that i've noticed i forgot to weave in this morning so that's the second finished object for the month and that's the last of the finished objects for the month. Um, but if you were with me last month, you will have seen that I had um, a couple of uh, people expecting babies. So I'd knit a white blanket for my friend. Um, her baby hopefully should arrive today. I think he was due yesterday or she. We don't know what flavour it's coming out um so I'll have to double check but uh yeah so her baby is very imminent she's received the blanket and I'd started to knit a second one in cotton well I finally made progress guys so this is the first of what needs to be four squares um I do need to apologize I believe I said that the colourway of this Lion Brand cotton was sea spray and it's not. It's called succulent. Still a lovely colour, still the correct brand of cotton that I am using. Um, still not the biggest fan of knitting with 100% cotton. So I've finished the first one. I now need to get a right wriggle on because... The baby that this one is for arrived last week. Exciting news and the new grandparents are going out to see Little Peanuts on the 24th of May, I think. So I need to finish this by the 23rd of May. So with that being said, I have made some progress. Where is it? Sorry. Oh, if anybody's interested, my project bag. It's a hide and hammer roll top. I think it's number three. They don't say. Um, but yeah, hide and hammer project bag. Um, so ah, here we go. So yes, I have made a start on a second square. Um, obviously looks like a circle while on circular needles. And I can't be bothered. I just don't, I'm, I'm just not a fan of knitting with cotton. But I've started, so I really need to finish. 
Um, so yeah, so I need to make more progress and pretty darn quickly to get this out to its recipient and so that little peanuts can enjoy the blanket that I have lovingly made for him. Um, and who knows, by the time they get out there, he might also have an actual name rather than just being called Peanuts. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have been knitting on. Um, I haven't dyed anything new that I want to share with you today because what I did dye up, I don't particularly like the colour on, so I might be over dyeing that. Um, but I do have, and it doesn't happen often, I do have acquisitions to share. Um, I went and purchased myself these. So this is um, yarn from Hannah at the corner of Craft on, under her Chromatic Yarns um, yarn label. Um, she also does a YouTube video. I'll link to her below. Um, I'd started off, apologies about the dog, I'd started off with just these two. So we have lightning resistance and cold resistance, which is nice and pinks and purples and greens and blues. Um, these are on her Sturdy DK base, which is 100% Superwash Blue Faced Leicester. Um, and it's 225 meters per 100 grams um but then i thought well i can't really knit something with just two so i treated myself to a third one and this one is called oh metagaming pigeon and i apologize about my lighting is it going to so we've got both the dog being a pain in the bottom and my lighting is not really allowing this to pick up very well um but i'll leave i'll leave links below so you can well that might be a bit better you can see it a bit better now um so yeah so i treated myself to these three i have no idea what i'm going to knit with it um so the three skeins come to 675 meters um which is about 720 yards um ish don't quote me on that maths. Um, and I'm a fat pasty, so I'm not going to be able to find myself a top that's not cropped, because I don't like crop tops, um, that I could knit with this. So I might, uh, yeah, I suppose I could make myself a nice asymmetrical shawl ready for the winter months. It'd be all nice and squishy. Um, but yeah, no idea. So if you've got any ideas of what I can knit with these, please feel free to leave notes in the comments for me. Um, they're pretty and I liked them, so I bought them. And that's my excuse, not that I need one, and I'm sticking to it. Um, so yeah, so this, and I also feel they make a nice fade set, don't you think? But yeah, so these are from Corner of Craft and Chromatic Yarn, so I'll link to her below. Um, so that's my acquisitions for this last month, and it will probably be my only acquisition, acquisitions for a few months. Um, okay, so in other yarn news, as anybody in the UK will know, and probably most people worldwide, the cost of living is going up and up. Your gas, your electric, your water, your council tax, petrol prices even my yarn supplier prices have gone up and I did not want to increase my yarn prices so I have changed yarn supplier and that means that any stock that I have left and I'm just going to pause this while the dog finishes barking sorry about that dog has finished barking um so where was I oh yeah so um I have changed my yarn supplier um, and the difference between the two yarn suppliers is that my original yarn supplier, my fingering weight base was an 8020 merino nylon um, nylon base and it was 400 meters per 100 grams. And my new yarn supplier is a 7525 superwash merino nylon base um, and you get 425 
gram uh, meters per hundred grams. So anything that I still have left in stock on my old bases is currently um, reduced in price on the Etsy shop. Um, so if you still want to treat yourself to wool, but also don't want to face the ever increasing prices, go and check out, see if you can grab yourself a bargain. And in the meantime, all my new bases means that you're getting extra length without an increase in cost and I'm able to carry on producing the yarn that I love um, at a price that isn't going to break your bank or mine. Um, so yeah, so check out in the Etsy shop, see if you can grab yourself a bargain. But that's all I've got to share with you knitting wise and shop wise this month. I have just been accepted on a test knit, but I haven't found out yet whether or not I'm allowed to share the details of that yet. So you may very well see that in next month's video. Um, if not, I'll try and kind of give you a couple of sneak peeks without giving away the pattern. Other than that, I think I need a palette cleanser from Lace after I have finished this baby blanket. It will get done. You won't get to see the finished item. I will hopefully be able to take pictures and share those with you. And you never know, might even be able to share a picture of the baby wrapped in the blanket. Um, so I'll hopefully be able to share that with you next month. Um, but what have you guys been knitting on this month? Leave a comment below, do a little check in and share what you've been knitting on. And I will look forward to seeing you all next month. Um, as per usual, if you like what you see here, do please like subscribe, share, turn on that notification bell because every now and then I will post other videos including what I've been dying on um, just so that you can see the process that I follow um, but otherwise yeah take care enjoy the sunshine and we'll hopefully see you soon bye